Swindles family, it's Jay Swindles here. And I'm back with another video. And today I got a little mini story time about how me and my cousin got kicked out of a hotel, a hotel, a movie theater because we was being quote unquote suspicious. So, it even, and this shit was crazy because we dead ass like did not do nothing to provoke this man to want to even come up to us and say nothing. Like we dead ass didn't do nothing, but let's get into the story time. Anyways, this is early in the day. Me and my cousin, we, uh, me, my cousin and my mom and my brother, we decided to go to the movies or whatever. So we get to the movie, we paying for our stuff, we get our tickets and everything. And we go on into the theater. Probably the movie was type boring. And we went to go see the Barbarian or something like that. I think that's what it was called. Anyway, so we had oh my goodness. So we had um fucked around and went ahead and we sit in there for probably like a good 30 minutes. So my cousin tapped me, he was like, yo, bro, I gotta go to the bathroom. He said, come with me, I ain't trying to go by myself. Cause I don't know why. I mean, shit, I don't know. Anyway, so I had um went with him and we go we go ahead and go in there or whatever. I went to I had to use the bathroom too. I went in there and used the bathroom and I came back out and we were standing there. And my cousin seen this girl that he like we was he was looking at. And I just I just was sitting like the security guard was sitting there watching like he was acting like he wasn't watching us but he was watching us bro this nigga was sitting there on on beef for what I don't know bro so we go back in like we just standing there pacing back and forth like we just we ain't have nothing to do the movie was tight boring we didn't want to sit in there so we just was like all right we just gonna stand out here for a minute and. As soon as when we try to go back in, this man come walk up. Oh, do you got your tickets? I'm like, sir, you, you didn't just see us walk out the fucking, like, are you blind, my nigga? Like, I don't get it. Like, my nigga, are you blind? Because I know you just seen me and him just walk out because they were dating. The, the, it was a police officer and a security guard. And they sat there and watched me and my cousin just, we wasn't doing nothing. Like, we dead ass was on our phones and was just talking to each other. So I'm asking him, I'm like, bro, how do, I asked the dude, I'm like, how do we look suspicious? He said, y'all just been pacing back and forth. I said, sir, I went in, in the bathroom and came back out and we was just standing here talking. How do we look suspicious? And there's much people that come in there and movie hop, bro. That shit is crazy. Anyways, the dude, the dude said, all right, you can't be in here. You gotta leave. Until, unless you got somebody that could come out here and get you. And I'm like, all right, I could just call my brother right quick. Can we Can we just stand right here? And he was like, no, you have to leave. To me and my cousin just like, yo, like we, we, we paid our money and we in the movie theater. So where did the disconnect come from, my nigga? Like, you, did you not, did your eyes fucking leave your mind from the time we walked out the theater to when we went to the bathroom did you forget what we looked like bro i felt like he was he was racist i seriously felt like this man was racist because it like when my brother walked out to come get us we standing outside i had to call my brother i'm like bro they put us out the theater talking about we looking suspicious and we wasn't doing nothing but standing here so now i said can you come get us from outside so now my brother hot he come out and walk outside and he, yo, I like not very, my bad. Anyways, so nigga walks out and he comes against us. He's like, yo, come on. So he was like, oh, sir, can you show us? My brother was like, no, I don't got to show you shit. And he's like, oh, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to make sure. And then now they didn't want to say nothing. And he wanted to come up to us and apologize. So my whole thing was, you seen me walk out. You seen me and my cousin walk out. You take it upon yourself to want to start doing bullshit and try to harass us for what? I don't know. You want to apologize because you were wrong. And had you been right, you would have never gave us an apology or not given us not a dime of our money back, bro. And that's the crazy reality of life now because we were literally not doing a thing. Like we was outside on our phones, not doing nothing. We was just standing there. 
My cousin was trying to see what the girl was gonna do because she kept looking at the nigga. So I'm just standing there like, alright. Cause I was I had a girl at that time. So I'm just sitting there like, alright, so I'm just waiting for us to go back in there. He called somebody for a split second, and then he got back off the phone with him. But that 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 was the story time. And the shit was just crazy to me because I'm just like, how do how do you look suspicious just standing around? Like we were in what and pacing back and forth we what movie hopping we had just got in there and i think we was in there no longer than 45 minutes i i i kid you not we was only in there for probably like 45 minutes and we had to i don't know we the, the story was just crazy because i i don't get how you look suspicious from just walking around but hey that is what it is this wasn't no long video. Comment down below what y'all want to see next. Share, tell your friends about me, and this is Jay Swindles, and I'm out.